figured I'd do a quickie uh, makeup review because I had to get it. Y'all don't know me very well. I love Star Wars. I mean, I love, love, love Star Wars. I am one of those crazed fans <laughs> who would dress up and show up at the movie premieres, okay? That's me. Uh, I dated one of my boyfriends was or is a Jedi. He... He's a beautiful soul. <laughs> I still care very deeply for the man. Um, and we keep in touch. And so, you know, I, <laughs> I'm a big fan. First time I saw it was the first time it was released. The A New Hope was released back in 1970s. <laughs> yeah, I'm old. Okay, folks. Anyway. <sighs> so I had to get this ColourPop palette. I mean, I had to look at the little guy, the child, it's called. Some people refer to him Baby Yoda, but you remember Yoda, by this time, has already passed on and is a force ghost. So, what's it? But here's another little guy who's got a lot of force powers. And this palette, I'm wearing it now. Oh. Remember, I'm legally blind, so putting on makeup can be just a mess. <laughs> But I've already used a bunch of some of these colors. They're beautiful. It's fun. It's very uh, Yoda-esque. <laughs> um, the shimmers. There's, I think, like four shimmers. One kind of matte with sparkles. And four mattes. So, let's see here. Uh, let's do some swatches of this first... Come on, my finger is not picking up things, I think, because I have glue on it. I can't, you can't really tell this one, but it is a pretty color. It does look, see, I put it on my face, you can kind of see it. It could be good for a highlighter, too. Ooh. Um, that color is called Precious Cargo, and the little child is Precious Cargo to the Mandalorian. I have been watching the Mandalorian series. I, I watched the first season oh, several or so times, and one season two just came out, so I catch it on Disney+. Plus. All right, here's the next color. It's a shimmer. It's a right-hand Mando, and I will swatch that. I am wearing this one, I thought, this color on my lids. I thought it was so pretty. Um, the one I used in my crease is just like, like a Tatooine. It's a matte. It goes on nicely. I scratched myself, and it, it's, a, it's an angry scratch, isn't it? Very angry. <laughs> All right, so let me wipe some of this off. All right, and we're going to go into um, sipping soup. Now, that has become a meme. He, you know, little guys just sitting there sipping his soup while Mando is fighting, and it is hilarious. <laughs> and it's a beautiful, this is a nice little shimmer. I also have some of this on my eyes. The next color I haven't used, but it's called Baby Face. Baby Face right there. Let me swatch it. Ooh, it is a pretty green. I did use that kind of at the top of my lid, or not my lid, but under my brows. Now the last color, kind of golden, it's called The Force. It's another shimmer. I almost th was thought it was a, a pressed glitter, but no, it's creamy and no glitter. It's a shimmer. So I was relieved because I don't like pressed glitters that much. See, it's it's so pretty. Now the next one, a uh, little frog, little frog, <laughs> the little baby child likes to eat little frogs. If you, if, you know, and it is a pretty, pretty olive green, just so pigmented, gorgeous. Um, and then we have this mat, which I did use. I used, I did use little frog, and I did use float your. Float your crib, because his little crib floats around. That, I really liked this color. I th This one is, they're creamy, pressed shadows that just, oh. And then we got the final one. I'll just 
swatch here, and it's called Droid Protocol. Now, if you know, Mando does not like droids at all, and the fact that it was a droid that saved the baby and his life, you know, kind of opened his eyes a little bit, but yeah. Look at that brown. That is a good brown. It is just like, bam, and... I'm going to be using this palette a lot, I have a feeling. I've never really used a lot of green shadows before, but these just, they're so, see, I'm all messy palette because I've been using this. There is some um, fallout, but not a lot. So I, you know, ugh, okay, getting that color off of me is getting a little bit harder. So you see my fingers are dirty. <sighs> But yeah, I I suggest you um, color pop. It did a cute palette. I like this a lot better than the Candyland palette. That one. Let me see here. Oh, I moved the palette. I reorganized. <laughs> Where is the Candyland palette? Oh my goodness. I thought. Oh, it's right here. Duh. I didn't like this palette because Candyland is bright, bold, primary colors, uh, jewel-toned colors, <laughs> and this is not it. This is pastels. Now that I'm looking at it after that my dis initial disappointment and what it looked like, I'm like, oh, these are actually pretty, some of these I could use. Huh. But I also think if you've got some of the other ColourPop mini palettes, if you have those, you pretty much got all you really need. I have the la I have a lavender lilac one and going coconuts. Let's see. No, that's not it. Here it is. See? These two are I use these a lot. And this little guy is going to be, oops, that's the box. Right here. These are great palettes. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you. I do like ColourPop. Oh, I just saw that Raw, raw Beauty Christy. Raw Christy Beauty. Uh, yeah, Raw Beauty Christy. I can't, such a weird name for me to try and say. Um, Well, Christy, she is finally collabing with ColourPop. <laughs> And I am so happy for her. And I think it's a great, great, just so many great things are coming to her right now. And she's pregnant with a beautiful little child. And I'm happy for her. And I I don't know. I mean, I would like to support her by buying it, but I really don't need it. I have to declutter, folks. I might be putting, because there's palettes here I just don't use. I do, I'm because I just can't, I just, you know, there's only so many palettes you really need, people. Really, really there is. So, um, I might go on Poshmark or Depop and start selling some of these palettes. Because, yeah, they, they're just, I mean, I got drawers here of palettes. And though I kind of like having them because I like the, you know, I've supported some great people, but I think companies were coming out with too much because there's only so much a person really needs in trying to use it up. How many, off, how often do you hit pan? You know, I hit pan on some products. Yes, I do. But it's like face products more like, you know, I use those a lot more. And I don't have as much because I limited those products, but my palettes, I need to. So comment down below if you would be interested in if I should, should I get rid of some of these or should I hold on to them and just keep using and use it, try and use them? But I don't, I not realistic here, folks. I've been giving stuff out away to people too. So there's like there's only so much I can give away and there's only so much the people I've given away that they need or want, you know, because they, they, it's a lot, it's just a lot. Well, anyway, <laughs> if you stay through the end of this, hey, I love you guys. Thank you for joining me, and please watch The Mandalorian. And if you're not into Star Wars, why? 
it's not like your typical sci-fi series, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> anyway, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you next time here on the MB Network. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.